Now three years ago, I stood on these uh, steps. These are the uh, steps of the Magistrates Court. And I gave you <clears throat> an introduction. I can actually turn it this way now because, uh, well, I'll explain it in a minute, but um, I gave you an introduction uh, about this church here, which is West Park United Reform. Um, I did that because I was doing my church search 2008. Unfortunately, uh, it was in the days when I believed wrongly that YouTube had a, a limit on the number of videos that you could have on your profile, and so I deleted them all. In fact, it was so early uh, that it was uh, there were about four or five videos of this visit because I hadn't got the uh, technology to combine the videos. So every time I pressed stop and start, that was it. Ironically, I have just discovered now that I can film this way. Let me explain something. This <clears throat> is filming portrait. And until recently, this is all I have been able to do. Um, although I can rotate pictures, I have not been able to rotate video. Since getting my new, uh, new um, editing software, I'm now able to edit this and keep it the right way round when I change the view to, uh, to portrait. Amazing. Okay, let's look at West Park United Reformed then. We'll do uh, a little history lesson first. Uh, some of this I knew, some of it I didn't know. Uh, they do have an excellent website online. So, uh, we're on Victoria Avenue, which um, breaches the gap between what was Low Harrogate, which is down sort of this way, and High Harrogate, which is uh, up that way. These developed as two uh, different villages uh, in the middle of uh, the Great Knaresborough Forest in the late 1700s. Uh, and when the railway came, um, uh, the Victoria Park Company uh, was employed to basically build on the farmland uh, which had developed between the two villages and unite them into one. This here is Victoria Avenue, the very centre of uh, the Victoria Park lands, and uh, it was designed as a showcase for what the um, what the uh, uh, the building project could do. Ergo, it's got things like the Magistrates Court, which we're sitting under now. Ironically, it's also got lots and lots of churches for different denominations, and I always thought that was a bit weird. Uh, seemingly, they actually invited as many different denominations as existed to build chapels in this uh, street so that uh, as many people as possible would come and see it. Most of those still exist today, including uh, the Congregationalists, which built this. This is West Park United Reformed, and this is at the head of the, the street, actually. This is prime position, first built, and the, uh, the house there, if I can zoom in, and zoom out, was built by the same person. But uh, we've got the Presbyterian Church, which is literally just beyond um, where that tree is in the, the, the grounds. Uh, and that was called um, St Paul's Presbyterian, I believe. We've also got over here, this used to be a Christian Science building. Now it's actually a spiritualist church. Not very nice, but there we are. Uh, and, and along the, the road, um, there's the Baptist church as well. So there's quite a few denominations recognised on this particular street. That I knew. What I didn't know is that um, that uh, this particular um, uh, Congregationalist church actually stems from um, High Harrogate and it is the denomination that bought the stone 
from the oldest church in Harrogate, Christ Church on the Stray, when they wanted to rebuild it uh, from St John's Chapel into the Christ Church building you see today. That extra sto um, stone um, was, was used to build another little um, thing elsewhere on the Stray, which, which actually belonged to the Congregationalists, and I've never been able to uh, work that out before, who actually bought them out. <laughs> And they ended up here. The church is nowhere near as big as it looks because um, this bit here, if I zoom in, all of that is, is, is their sort of church hall. It's a building that they use for um, for uh, um, drinks and coffee after. So the church is literally only this little bit, sort of up here. It does have a small balcony right uh, at the end there, at the uh, west end there. Their door's not very good, um, but there we are, they're great west doors. Um, and what else? I suppose I had ought to talk about um, the inside a little bit. A uh, nice big foyer where they usually have coffee uh, mornings when they do their sort of mission. Um, a whitewashed with funny little, um, like the heaters you would have outside um, in a pub car park, the gas heaters. They have those suspended from the roof, which is weird. Um, Nice wooden panelling back bit, um, a supreme organ, uh, which is really good. They actually um, uh, don't use it as, as much as they should, I don't think. Uh, it's very, very good. The low notes literally rumble the whole building. Um, absolutely fantastic. Um, so the service I went in, I was almost, only just on time, I went in uh, and I was given a, a book by the elder and a service sheet and they still use Mission Praise which is quite old and quite sort of low church really um, and we went in and uh, there was no standing as the minister came in he just sort of walked in from the back and began I need to get my service sheet out now um, <clears throat> uh, there was a small welcome we had a, a, um, a, a song and that was played on the piano because they've got a piano there as well um, so that was played on the piano. And then they had some prayers. Uh, then they had an offertory, which is weird, because the offertory was basically... Um, it wasn't a song. He, he, he just started to improvise on the piano and people went round collecting. I don't like that so much as doing it in the middle of a hymn, because it places too much focus on, I think, the need to give. Um, whereas with a hymn, it's sort of a, a little bit more discreet. Perhaps that's just because I don't have a lot of money to give. I don't know. Um, but somehow I, I just didn't like that very much. Um, following on from that, uh, we had scripture. Then we had what was called family time. And I understand this to be sort of a notices. And also where other people can um, talk um, if they have anything to, to bring. Um, it's something that took off uh, majorly with the Mormons, um, and this is the only other uh, um, actual Christian denomination, I think, that uses it. However, here's something else. Their congregation is perhaps less than 30, and uh, I think there was nobody in the building younger than 50, apart from me. Um, that has unbelievably grown in number since 2008. But because they're all still old, one wonders what will happen in 30 years when they've all passed on. Anyway, so because of that there wasn't much to share. So we had a small address, basically. And then after the hymn, uh, sorry, another song on the piano uh, and another reading, we had the proper address. Now the speaker is the... I can't remember what his name is, let me just have a look at him. He is... 
the Reverend John Campbell is absolutely brilliant. I mean, he really is top-notch, if you ask me. I I love his style um, of of preaching. I just think he's he's fantastic. Really is very good indeed. Because of this, I have mixed feelings about this church because I love the organ, but they don't play it very much. I love the preaching, um, but the style uh, of worship is, is, is slightly too low church for me. It's not exactly bustling church with, you know, loads of people my age, but I like it. I do actually like it. I like it more than I did in, in 2008. Um, for some reason, I've always had a bit of a soft spot for um, this particular church. I don't know why. Anyway. After um, the, uh, the proper address, we then had a hymn, and this was a proper hymn, and this was played on the organ, and that's what they seem to do. They seem to do two songs at the beginning, um, and those are uh, sort of worship songs played on the piano, and then two hymns towards the end of the service, and those are played on the organ. Uh, then there was more prayers, and then another hymn, and that was it. Um, and of course I didn't stay, because I've, I've got to do this, and then I've got to rush back. Uh, for for lunch at my nan's, but you know, mixed feelings. I won't. I, I'm naturally. I should, in in theory, rule this out. But um, I'm actually not going to until I've finished. <laughs>